Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I've got two videos. First, it's going to be my Forza Horizon 5 video. I am back with another drag and tune video. The car that we are going to be abusing today is one of my favorite cars, the Dodge Viper GTS ACR. This thing is a machine. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, now about the upgrades, as always we are starting with an engine swap you want to put in the 7.7 .7 liter V12. Very, very powerful engine. And you also, for the drivetrain, you want to keep it rear wheel drive. And for the third option, you want to apply that twin turbo aspiration. When you've done all of that, we can move on to the next category. That is just giving the car all the beans, all the power that it is going to need. Now, next important category, tires and rims. You want to go with drag tire compound tires. And you want to make the rear tire width as big as possible. If you can as well, go for a lighter rim set, as the GTS is a little bit heavy. It does weigh over a ton, so we're definitely trying to reduce some weight. When it comes to the engine upgrades, you want to max all of these out. It's super simple. You just want to put it all onto race, every single upgrade there. Exhaust, air filter, the cam and valves, you want to put it all onto race. When you've done that, we can now move on to platform and handling. Now we're going to go with race brakes, front and rear race anti-roll bars. You could go with a roll cage if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Of course we're going with race springs and dampers this time. And it's the lightest there, it's lighter than off-road, that's why we're going with it. And of course that weight reduction kit as well, you want to put that onto race. Now the last category, drivetrain, race clutch, race diff race transmission and a race drive line when you've put all of that on we can now start on the tuning now if you're the type of person that isn't interested in applying the tune yourself manually then feel free to just skip about 30 40 seconds ahead and you'll have the share code there's two share codes for this tune one that has a little bit less acceleration, more top end, and one that has less top end, more acceleration. It depends if you're doing a half a mile, quarter mile, if you're just cruising, or if you're actually doing a big drag strip with your friends. Obviously pick whatever tune is best for you. But when it comes to actually talking about the car, the car is definitely a little bit wheel spin heavy, definitely. Um, if you're launching anything above... 3k jesus christ you are going to be wheel spinning your ass off all the way to the finish line what i'd personally recommend is just keep it idle keep about one one and a half 2k rpm and then you just want to do a nice steady launch from there i'll show you a couple of examples in a minute i'm just showing you all the share code right now but it is a great car, definitely a machine. I prefer it actually to all the other Dodge Vipers. You got the Dodge Viper ACR, the 2016 one, um, <clears throat> mo multiple other. Um, same with the four Formula Drift one. I was even contemplating doing a drag tune for that, like a Formula Drift, Formula Drag um, style Dodge Viper. But this is the barn find one. This is the rare one, and I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely one of my favorites top end wise this thing flies down the drag strip it will hit all the way up to 240 going down the drag strip that's coming back when you're actually going up the drag strip to the flash to the stars for a good run you're going to be hitting about 205 206 miles an hour that would be a good run for a mediocre run i'd say anything less than 205 so 202 203 204 anything like that it's just a, an average run but 205 206 um, if you can clock that then you are doing a good run in this GTS ACR now <clears throat> sorry about my throat um, I will say yeah it is a wheel spin heavy car if you are launching anything above like 2k especially 3k 
um, just like you will see in a multiple clips of me going up and down you will be wheel spinning all the way to about 80 miles an hour and that's when the traction kicks in and then you're just flooring it then you're just flying but for that first gear don't be so heavy on the first gear so what I also wanted to show you guys an example what I mean by heavy if you're on automatic or manual where you don't have to use the clutch you'll notice that there's no wheel spin whatsoever and it's like this with many many different cars especially V8s, V12s like big boy cars with a lot of horsepower a lot of RPM um, but with manual and clutch <clears throat> you wheel spin quite a lot um, if you tap the clutch wrong, for example. So with manual and automatic, you don't have clutch, so you're not wheel spinning half as much. I think that's how some people actually get a few better times, because it's less less to worry about. You don't have to really worry about your car wheel spinning, because you're not using the clutch. So obviously, keep that in mind. I'm a manual with clutch user, so if anything I have to kind of work around the wheel spin and adjust adjust myself to it but if you're using manual or just automatic you will not get any wheel spin whatsoever so definitely keep that in mind and it's like that with a lot of other cars as well um, another car that is very similar is the McLaren F1 GT if you have that thing in manual with clutch for the first gear you will get a little bit of wheel spin but you will notice with automatic and manual there's no wheel spin at all you just honestly fly off the line no wheel spin maximum speed it's it's brilliant but with manual and clutch you do get a little bit of wheel spin so definitely be prepared for that but bottom line would i say this thing would be a jesco or anything like an rtr spec 5 dodge dart um probably not probably not being realistic but when it comes to actually beating sleepers and little things like that, this thing could definitely throw down with a few sleepers, definitely. Just don't expect it to obviously be beating the the big boys, you could say. The Rimac C2, um, hell, even the Copo, multiple Hot Wheels vehicles. Um, just keep in mind, like any top dogs like that, like even a Jesco... You could be in an RTR Spec 5 going up against a Copo and you could still struggle. It's exactly the same case with multiple cars. It's just the top, top dog cars. Like, if they're properly, properly tuned, then yes, you will definitely have a little bit of a struggle with them. And most likely they are going to win naturally. Like, Jesco, fully maxed out and tuned properly, is by far one of the fastest drag vehicles in the game. It's the same with the Copo, it's the same with the RTR Spec 5. If maxed out, being driven properly and tuned properly, it is one of the hardest cars to beat in a drag race. I think a lot of people would agree with that statement. But when it comes to this Dodge Viper GTS ACR, it's not going to beat them, but it will definitely throw down against some sleepers. But I'm going to leave you all to enjoy the rest of the footage. Let me know what you think of the car and the tune down in the comment section below. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you. And I'll see you all in the next video.